Hey everybody, how y'all doing? It's Steve coming at you. Hope you're having a great day. I just wanted to touch base because unfortunately we've had another incident. Apparently it took place last week, but a 24 year old mother of a three year old son died last week, right after uh, 4th of July, in fact, uh, from Indiana in Indianapolis. Her name's Jessica Doty Whitaker. She was hanging out with her fiance, who's a Hispanic gentleman. His name's Ramirez, last name's Ramirez. And, um, is what the left calls a person of color. The, the irony in that will you'll you'll find in just a moment. But uh, they were walking along the Indianapolis Canal Walk. I guess, I guess it was, and it was late night after the fourth. You know, I think it was in the, as a matter of fact, the June uh, July fifth. So probably had a good time on the fourth, hanging out, walking. They come across some BLM supporters. The BLM supporters start screaming, "Black Lives Matter! Black Lives Matter!" And reportedly, she screamed back, "All Lives Matter." They got into a little verbal uh, discussion, started arguing back and forth with each other. Somebody being them pulled out a weapon, uh, brandishing a weapon. Luckily, Ramirez had his weapon. He brandished his, and things calmed down real quick. Interesting how that happens, huh? Well, after things calmed down, they went about their way, but apparently someone went up on the bridge there, the BLM group, and they knew that Jessica and her friends were going to have to come through the other side, and so they popped her three times, pop, 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 from the bridge. One of the shots hit her in the head, killed her. 24 year old mom, three year old son named Grayson's, never gonna see her son again. Three year old's never gonna see his mom again. All because she said, all lives matter, which for some stupid reason is some type of trigger phrase for the radicals. This kind of stuff has got to end we have got to start stepping up. And the reason why you probably didn't even hear about this story is because a lot of mainstream media didn't cover it. I believe Fox covered it briefly. Uh, Gateway Pundit covered it. GatewayPundit.com covered it. That's why I read it. One of the places I read it, I also read a Fox story online. And uh, my boy Mike, Gen X Strikes Back, and his Twitter feed, he had, he put up post of with a mother and uh, her fiance, former fiance, we're talking about how they're gonna miss her. And the comment section from these BLM types is vile about how she deserved it. Well, maybe you should have taught her better. Uh, she shouldn't be such a racist bitch. It's ridiculous. Woman's been dead a, a week. And this is the kind of stuff that was coming from the leftists and BLM. See, so the BLM movement is a terrorist organization. Started out as a Marxist organization, Marxist organization. Cut, they partnered up with Antifa, which is a terrorist, a domestic terrorist organization. And now it's become something far, far worse. And we should treat it as such. And I'm tired of us bringing knives to gunfights. And I'm tired of this whole, well, we don't believe in cancel culture. They believe in cancel culture. Maybe we should start believing in cancel culture too. Maybe we should start going after some of these advertisers who advertise on like CNN, MSNBC, and all these different channels and ask those advertisers questions like, are you okay with your ch with these channels? Are you okay with these channels that you advertise on? Uh, caping up for BLM supporters. Not showing things like this story that took place with this innocent mother of a three-year-old child, 24 years old, is not even going to ever get to see her child again. Are you okay with the media covering for the violent BLM protesters and supporters? Are you okay with that? And maybe we need to start making some changes along those lines and start going up to some of those advertisers. Because I promise you, as I've said before, the only color they really respect is green. And with that, guys, I don't even want to make this long video because I'm just mad and frustrated about the whole stupid thing. I just feel so bad for that little kid and Ramirez who, uh, gosh, I'm so sorry. I wish I could remember his first name. I'm, but man, having to, to see his fiance get taken out by these vile vermin. It is time for us to stand up and start both literally and figuratively fighting back. Now, if you agree with me, great. Maybe you do let me know. Give me a thumbs up. Share the video. Comment on the video. If you don't disagree with me, if you think I'm wrong, if you think BLM is all peace and love and these are all just misunderstandings, I don't know how you misunderstand a, a, a targeted shot at a 24-year-old mother, but maybe you leave your comment as well. Uh, thumbs down, whatever you want to leave. That's cool. But I'd be very interested in hearing what you have to say either way. 
with that guys please remember those who have been taken out needlessly during with all this was supposed to be for george floyd the whole blm movement was supposed to be for george floyd we had so many people die in that short period of time since this started that is ridiculous nine little kids since june 20th not even a month since june 20th nine kids have died and david dorn's the officer uh in st louis has died now we have a 24 year old mother who's of a three-year-old who's gone i'll see if i can link the stories and maybe if i can find the gofundme for her and her family and her little boy grayson i'll, I'll link that as well but this has got to stop we got to step up and start changing things with that i hope you're having a great day be safe take care